Coming up in this layout construction update. This layout update focuses on the construction of Track 2. This layout update will give you an idea of how I'm going to build this layout. This track plan has been changed due to some space issues. We will start out at the drawbridge. This drawbridge was part of the original layout I built back in Illinois. That layout was abandoned because I had to move, but I brought that drawbridge with me. The black paint area has been finished, and that barrel bolt will be removed because it's been going to block track 1. You can see that track 2 has been laid out along the bridge. It has been glued down and screwed. Legos and wood ties were used to, to lift up the hinges so that way the, the bridge won't bump into parts it shouldn't, preventing the bridge from opening. The bridge is a little bumpy, but it works out fine. A girder bridge is filling the gap between those two pink foam boards. There's Woodland Scenics Roadbed on top of it, and the track on top of the roadbed. I need to finish the black paint on this girder bridge. You can see another Lionel girder bridge waiting to be installed for track one. These wood boards below the table were accessed wood when they were cutting the boards for the layout. Now they are being used as temporary storage for trains. I couldn't bring the shelves from the old house with me because they couldn't fit on the moving truck. All the switches you see on this layout are 045, but there will be two 036 switches on track 1. Track 2 is designed to allow engines that require 072 curves on the track. There are two switches that lead to an incline. For Brightline, I mean O-gauge trains to climb up. This incline is made from Woodland Scenics. A temporary truss bridge will be added to the top of the incline. It has a blinking light, but I don't know if it works yet. These four switches are used to connect track 1 to track 2. There are insulated rail joiners used to prevent them from sharing the electrical connection. And here's an engineer's eye view of us passing through the switch. There is going to be another 045 switch right here. It is going to lead to a turntable with an engine shed. It's going to be a while before I install an engine shed. Here, you can see a GP35 carrying a Florida East Coast hopper filled with ballast. Soon, these tracks will be ballasted.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check out my social media pages. Oh wait, I don't have any social media pages.